Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday dealership walk. We're in Pennsylvania. Koch 33 Toyota. It's very windy. Sorry about that. Looks like they got a few new tundras on the lot. Figured we would stop and take a look on a road trip. We got an SR double cab. It's got the tow mirrors. Try to turn away so you don't get anything here as far as wind. It's got the tow mirrors. It's got the side steps. White, good looking truck. Doesn't have any badging on it because it's an SR. Brand new. We're going to see right now if it's 4x4 four by, four by looking at the back. Looks like this is going to be a two wheel drive option. But we shall check it out here and confirm. This is a two wheel drive option. And that's everything it has. So it has the heated power outside tow mirrors with blind spot monitors, turn signal indicators, and manual extend and fold feature. And it's showing they're only $50 for the upgrade, but they look good. Not bad. Check it out. Oh, the price. 36978. Good looking truck. Oh, almost fell backwards. That would have been a good good thing for the YouTube channel if I fall, right? So that's a new tundra right there. Next to it, TRD Pro. It's got the Predator side steps. 62233. Beautiful looking truck. Obviously we know everything that comes on the Pro, blacked out badging, bed stamp. BBS wheels forged, 275, 65, 18 tires. It's a good looking truck. Prices are still way up, we know the deal. This is a Crew Max, obviously. If you want your 2021s, this is gonna be one of the dealership to come to uh, because this place gets a lot of Tundras. I think last I looked on their website, they have 28 incoming. But there it is right there. I have people watching me film, which is a really good time. What do you think about this in the black? Like I said, 62233. Sundays in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, the dealerships are closed, so you get a lot of people on looking, which this dealership gets quite a few people. So that is two new ones. It looks like they got a used one over there, but I think I see a third new one, so we'll go check that out real quick. Army Green CRD Pro, but that one's mine. We got a nice cement. TRD Off-Road 4x4 Crew Max. Beautiful, beautiful truck. I love this color. Can't get enough of it. Now, if you've never been to Koch 33 in Pennsylvania, I think it's Easton, Pennsylvania, this dealership is gigantic and beautiful. This is where they do all the crazy builds for all the Tundras, Tacomas, and Forerunners, stuff like that. They have a lot of uh, events that come out of this place for, you know, overlanding, off-roading, all that stuff. This is a nice truck, nice example. See what the price is here. 49503 with a markup to 52798. This is the SR5. You get a lot of stuff on this. This has blind spot monitoring the parking sensors. As you can see from the backup sensors there. I've never seen a dealership where so many people are driving through on a Sunday. It's got the side steps. It's a shame to see this generation go away. I really like it. Big fan of this truck, big fan of this color. This was the special TRD Pro color in 2017. What do you think of the pricing? There are markups, but not too bad compared to other places we've been. You gotta let me know. I would black out those badges right there. I would black out those end caps, probably put a pro grill on it. Be good to go on that. I'll show you the features. It looks like it has quite a few uh, extra things on it right there, so take a look. Pause the video if you wanna see. Again, I will once again apologize for the wind. It is insane. See what I mean about their builds? They got a Tacoma over there, completely ready for the off-road. But the wind is nuts. Got a Supra, a lot of Forerunners. I'm gonna walk over and show you guys the, I think they have a used Tundra over here, if, if I'm correct. So we'll go over and check that out. Doesn't look like there's any Tundras in the showroom. But like I was saying before, um, as per their website, they're getting a bunch of Tundras in. So they're just not delivered yet. Normally, in normal times, this entire lot is completely filled with Tundras end to end. They got a lot of Tacomas over there. A lot of Army Green Tacomas over there, that's cool. Looks like we're walking to a 1794 TRD off-road. Beautiful truck. This is not, actually, it's a limited. I love that color. This was like the premier color on the 1794 when it came out. 
This one's used 2017, four wheel drive, 48,100 miles. I'm looking for the price. I'm sure it's staring me in the face, but I don't see it. Oh, there's a price on the front. It was 46515, it is now 44225. 2017 is a good year because that was the year before Toyota Safety Sense. So if you don't like all that extra stuff, this may be something you want to get. Looks like they upgraded the tires as well. Looks really good. It's a good looking truck, beautiful color. And as you can see in the sunlight, it is amazing. This will be a good thumbnail shot right here if I can get it. That is a nice looking truck. So it looks like we got one used and three new and the prices are where we're seeing everywhere else we go so we'll look we'll go over the new one more time on our way out and you guys could let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about as far as these trucks right here are you buying trd pro are you buying a 2021 still because this is the first dealership walk since we've had the true reveal so now are you just waiting for 2022 what's your story what do you think about the 2022 trd pro compared to this trd pro Beautiful truck. I don't care what anyone says. I know the current generation's been around a while, but this thing is gorgeous. It gives you everything. Still gives you that 5.7 V8. No more V8 in the Tundra. We know that's going away or pretty much gone. I still think this is the dark horse for a good time with the Tundra. You get in cheap, especially in today's market where everything is super expensive. You get in cheap with this. You get the tow mirrors. The thing tows 10,000 pounds. I just wish it was four wheel drive. So if it was four wheel drive, it'd probably be more like 39 grand, 40 grand. Uh, but it, you know, it got the 5.7 V8 in it. It's the only engine available currently for the Tundra. Keep that in mind. Beautiful truck. So with the Pro over there and this one, I'm happy with both of them. I probably would get the SR, but then I see the cement one here once again. And if the price was right, this would probably be the truck for me. Just, I can't get enough of this cement color. All of the pro colors that go to the other trims the year after are always have that like non-metallic flat look. And in the sunlight, they look so good. So you'll have to let me know what you think. I'm sure this is gonna be everybody's favorite. Everybody likes the SR5 with the TRD off-road package. Because of the wheels, you get everything you need. Most of the stuff you want too. It's a nice blend. You add the TRD dual exhaust for the, the sound and you got a nicely built truck there. Can't go wrong, backup camera, integrated, you know the whole deal. That's the cool thing about the Tundra, is that 5.7 being the only engine, it's in everything. So keep that in mind, because that is a cool thing. So if you're in the market for a Tundra, this is one of the places you might want to check out. Koch 33 Toyota. It's actually right here. It's in Easton, Pennsylvania, right on Route 33. The highway's right there. It's very easy to get on the highway and off the highway from this dealership. All right, folks, and this is Walter again at Dayton Toyota. Dayton is in Dayton, New Jersey. It's just south of Rutgers University on Route 130. They got a couple new Tundras here. There's a top one, a Tundra down there. It's a nice white limited here. They got a red one over there, Barcelona red. And then way down over there, if you can see it, is a 1794, but we'll start with this limited. Nice white limited here. It's got a tonneau cover on it. Nice looking truck. Got the nice rims on it. It's got yeah, a little bit of chrome. Not too bad, but let's see what they're gonna do with it. It is a 2019 Limited. It's got $51,000 with almost 19,000 miles on it. Comes with a dealer warranty. I know the glare is pretty bad and we got a major highway right here in front of us. So I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. A good looking truck, nice and clean. No scratches or anything. And uh, let's now take a little bit of a walk. The Mad Gray SR5 sitting up here. 2020 and above, it's got the shark fin antenna on top. Nice work truck, regular rims. Got the spray and bed liner from Toyota. You guys don't, don't need all the specifics on this, so walk around real quick. Get you over to the sticker. Maybe black out the badging a little bit would look nice. Well, let's see, we got a, it's a four by two. Look at this. 
SR5 4 by 2 starting down here at 39.2 a couple little add-ons over here market adjustment identify identification etch coming in at I don't know if you guys can see that but it's coming in at 40,185 total for an SR5 nice work truck but it is 4 by 2 walking up to this one for you guys Barcelona Red. Nice looking truck. Limited. It's got the off road package on it. Starting at 48359. Market adjustment $4,000 is the market adjustment they're putting on this one. Final price $53,246. Similar to the Limited I saw last week up at Newton. Chrome on it. This vehicle, I don't know what this is all about. Huh. I think we saw those stickers somewhere else. I think it was in Pennsylvania. Somebody filmed. Nothing in the bed. Nice, I like that color. Alright, now we're going to take a little bit of a walk. To that one, that's a 1794 in Mad Gray down there. Let's go take a look at that one. Walk it up to this one for you. Mark, you're gonna like this, 1794 in Mad Gray. A little bit too much chrome for you there, buddy, but you could do something with that. Let's take a quick peek at this. Starting off at 55,195. Market adjustment, $4,000, look at that. Coming in at 60,082. Can't really see much in this, but no spray in bed liner, not even a bed mat. It's got the big chrome wheels on it. Typical 1794 with that tan interior. It is bright out again. Why does it seem like it's really bright when I film for you guys? It's a nice shot of the truck right there. Alright guys, again, Dayton Toyota, Route 130, south, just south of Rutgers University in New Brunswick. See you soon.